Say a few words about how long we've known Douglas Turner Ward. So you go first. <laughs> the whole NEC experience has, has, has been a wonderful, wonderful thing to be with that company of actors uh, that you all know and see and love, uh, to hang out, to talk, and hear those look at the Orchidia restaurant. Yeah. You know, yeah. days and nights that we sat there and, and, and heard the stories about Raising in the Sun, those stories that you will never read about, those stories that you will never see televised, but those wonderful stories that they will regale about their experience with the rain, with Claudia McNeil, with Adam Sands, with uh, Ruby D. Um, it just, I, I just, you know, I had died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Welcome to Inside New York. We are so delighted to have on today's program an award-winning veteran, director, actor, and educator. He's been in theater working for over 40 years and has directed over 100 productions. We welcome to Inside New York, Dean Irving. How do you do? Thank Dean? you. Good to be here. Thank you. It's such an honor to have you on the program. Good to be here, thank you. And it's, it's a great opportunity to have you on because you're participating, and I should say not just participating, you're actually directing one of the plays that's part of the New Federal Theater's October Fest that actually will be seen on the weekend of October 23rd. Correct, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, New Federal, uh, which I'm very um, honored and humbled uh, to have just joined their board of directors uh, this year. So uh, okay. after years and years and years and years of working there and having done plays there and my association with Woody King and, and uh, Liz Van Dyke and Liz and I go back to school together at NYU um, and to finally, you know, um, uh, be working with them, you know, in terms of their organization. Uh, it's, it's quite an honor, so. Um, so Woody good. said, you're not just a figurehead. We're going to put you to work. That's right what away. he said. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, he's been, he's been on me for years to, to do, do more. And so here I am. Yeah. Woody is, when you talk about, I call him the Howard Cosell of theater because, you know, Howard, you know, Howard Cosell had total recall. He could recall every sports event and moments throughout history. He comes up and he remembers productions, people who were in the production, went, you know, all, all of it's, it's uncanny. The first theater company, I, I believe, that you joined was the Negro Ensemble Company, correct? Uh, in New York, yes. yes. Yeah. In, so in, now, in, how did that come about? Well, of course, I knew, I knew uh, the, about the Negro Ensemble Company long before I came to New York. Um, I, I knew about the different personalities, the actors that were coming out of the theater, out of Negro Ensemble Company, and a lot of people really honed their skills there. Hey. But just, just to link very quickly, just to link, that was, that was, you know, the, the beginning of the acting. And, mm -hmm. but we were talking about Steve Carter. And, Steve, and moving to directing, right. but later on. Yes. Steve you. gave, they knew at NEC, they knew that I was interested in directing. And Steve gave me my first directing opportunity to direct a play in, in their, out, that came out of their workshop, um, in, their, in their, um, their, their, their workshop theater, that small, their small theater up on the, uh, the uh, third floor. Yes. Um, and, um, and that was it, you know, that I, I, I did that and I said, oh, Oh, okay. This is what this is what I want to do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I have always, you know, and of course we just we just lost Steve just a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And um, you know, and I and he knows he knew it very well. I was always indebted to to Steve. You know, but uh, what a wonderful, yeah. wonderful, and and it's just amazing if when he died the obit that they had in the new york times was so incredible 
you know, um, it was it was very thorough and just a wonderful, wonderful piece that the uh, time. Is there anything you would like to add to what has already been said well, about him? About about Steve. Mm -hmm. Um. The one thing I would like is, is how erudite he was. Steve knew theater. He, he would, he, I mean, he had this, he had this knowledge of film, not just theater, but film, opera, you know, everything. He was, um, uh, I mean, he was a, a theater, uh, an, an arts head. He, he just, um, he just, you would sit and and he would talk about you know things we i think we had talked earlier about this restaurant that was on second avenue is that yeah. is that yeah. i've been waiting yeah. for that now you know i'm not going to release you until you tell us that story the or the orchidea the orchidea restaurant was um on ninth street and second avenue it was the fun that we that that we would have and you can see more of our interview with dean irby on our youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you'll get an alert when it's available on demand medal of honor rag by tom cole um and uh it will be on youtube um uh, on the 24th, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Um, the 24th and 25th, it'll be all day, so you can tune in at any time. Um, okay. And on the opening, the 23rd, it will be at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Yes. So that's Friday through Sunday. Every Correct. weekend, Every actually, weekend. we're having readings. But, but this particular play that Dean is directing, it starts October 23rd. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.